Thank you. Hey, everybody. You're in the room. I'm here cleaning up after the after party from Sworn Fest. We're in the room. Say hello, greetings, and salutations. Got a lot of thank yous to make for this past weekend. Sorry if my voice is a little wonky, but I did a lot of talking this weekend. So I'm just here to serve you up some heaping helpings of some amazing coffin items. So yeah, hope everyone who uh, made it to Sworn Fest, I hope you guys all survived. I hope you guys all uh, enjoyed yourselves. Because now it's back to our regular scheduled program of the Catacombs. And I'm here to serve you up some great heaping helpings of Coffin Comics awesomeness. I'm going to set this right there. See who's joining us today. Jason Wyatt, what is up, dude? How are you? Did you make it okay? Jay Taylor! I missed the hell out of you, but you were there in spirit. So was Carmen. Everyone else who couldn't make it. Believe you me, there was a lot of people looking out for you. There was a lot of people feeling your presence with us. So if you weren't there, we know you were there in spirit, and um, we all had a good time. Next time, it's going to be even better, because even more of y'all are going to be joining us. Who else do we got watching today? Come on, give a shout out. If you made it to Swarm Fest, can I get a big swarm? And see if you're still alive with me. <laughs> I want to do a couple thank yous. It was crazy. Ooh, Planet Con is right. Brian's going to be there. Get to hook up with Brian, man. It's going to be great. Um, Eric Hart, what's up, man? How you doing? God, I wish, I, I really wish all you guys could have been there. Um, it was a lot of fun. I had a blast. It was the first time I'd done a convention since 2019. I want to say uh, September or November. So uh, it was nice to get back in the saddle again. Definitely uh, a little rusty since I've done a show. But, uh, you know, just like a bicycle, you just hop right down on and start riding it. Richard. Oh, well, that's why I'm trying to stay in one place. I don't want to move around too much. Uh, my chiropractor, man, he gave me some uh, electrodes for my back to help with the muscle uh, issues I've been having. And so I got that to uh, bring home and, uh, you know, get myself even better than I am. So, yeah, definitely. Cons are fun. They are a drain because you put out so much energy out there for everyone. But it's always worth the cost. The cost is always worth it. Kenny, what's up? Rich, how are you, man? Man, Jason, it was a blast to get to hang out with you. Oh, dude, that sounds like a great idea. That's one thing I love about our communities. People in the same towns or they know they're going to be coming to a show or something, they're all going to meet up. That's what I love about our community. Um, I also want to give, uh, let's say, a thank you to Sarah. Uh, Sarah, thank you very much for the wonderful banana bread you gave me. Also, I got some jams, which I really look forward to, and it's been quite a while since I had this homemade jam. So I put on my peanut butter and jelly sandwich yesterday, and it's amazing. Um, also, thank you, every, uh, Chaz, for the Godzilla figure. I also got some really cool Godzilla coasters that I don't even want to use because they're so badass. I kind of want to hang them up as art. Uh, but it did give me the image they used for that uh, stone... Uh, coaster is actually something I'm going to get tattooed on my arm. It was a really cool Godzilla design. I've been looking for a neat one um, just to show my love for the big G. And it fits the Gamera tattoo I want, which is kind of like a yin yang symbol. So, yeah, it's pretty badass. Eric, I truly believe that. Sarah is truly amazing. And one thing I liked is is those of you who weren't there, all your friends who knew you or from the same town, they were there for you, they were partying for you, they were celebrating for you also, uh, aside from themselves. So it was a hell of a good time. Um, 
I want to thank my crew, Joe Casa and Clint Cummins. Uh, I have worked with them before. Clint, uh, I used to manage when I ran uh, Samurai Comics in Phoenix. Uh, he helped out, and Joe Casa I've known for years. He was one of my customers, and he's very much into comics. And um, I, I'm so glad they did an amazing job. Um, you guys really loved them. I heard some great feedback from you guys, so I'm really glad that uh, Joe and Clint did an amazing job. They seem to just fit right in perfectly with everyone, and that's why I picked them. And thank you guys. You guys did an amazing job. Everybody who helped. Uh, the Sworn Nation came out, uh, people were helping out each other, people were there for each other, lots of laughing. Uh, Tony Buck, holy cow, you guys saw my, po my post. Tony Buck ruled that Sworn Fest. That first opening night party, I was just like, oh my God, Tony Buck has ruled the weekend. It was such a good time. Karaoke, oh my God, the karaoke party was so much fun. Um, I didn't do anything because my throat is uh, slowly going because here we are on Saturday. It's like if I sing, I'll blow up my voice and I won't be able to talk. Of course, still blew up my voice and it's a little hard to talk, but it's getting better. It's just some tea, honey, and uh, no lemon. I hate lemon. It makes me pucker up really bad. Just, <coughs> Alyssa Holtz, how are you? Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me today. So... It was fun. It was definitely um, one for the record books. The convention center where we had the show was beautiful. It was beautifully set up. Uh, thank you to the Mesa Convention Center for really supporting us. And, and I love that we had a couple of the security people actually become fans. So that was even cooler because they really liked you guys that I saw a couple of security guys doing some shopping and they picked up some Lady Death products. So because of you guys, you guys have converted to uh, people that were working at the con um, for the convention center and uh, they became fans. They really loved everyone. It's so great. I did too. I did too. I had a great time at Swarp Fest. It was great seeing you and everybody else. I mean, it was beautiful weather. We had a really beautiful time and it was great just to see everyone from all over the world. And that's what blows my mind. People from all over the world were coming to Little Arizona. Mesa, Arizona, to celebrate with us. Um, I met some amazing people, told them about some of my favorite eats in town, and a lot of them checked them out and really liked them. So those who uh, tried out my recommendations, um, okay, uh, I just got a text from my mom. Hi, mom. Um, anyways, um, <laughs> uh, it was a blast. It was a blast. We took over the town, like we said. Um, I saw people hitting up all the local comic shops around town, which is always a plus. There's a lot of great shops here in Arizona, so if you're ever visiting, check out all the local comic shops that support Lady Death. Um, they are very much a great group of uh, men and women that run some great shops. A lot of them are uh, family members, so you know, support your local comic shops, show them the love, let them know you're there for them. Dude, I, don't, I, I agree with you, Eric. No one, no one can say that this community is not the best damn community in fandom. And I mean that wholeheartedly. I've never seen a group of people look out for each other, care for one another, and show true friendship like ever before. It's just absolutely amazing. And I am blessed to work here and work for you guys as our customers. It's great. So yeah, Eric, you hit it on the head. You nailed that. That is very true. Um, it is a community for all their love of Coffin, their love of what Brian uh, has created over the years, the love of Lady Death, La Muerta, Hell Witch, Zach. We all got our fans. We all got our favorite books and characters. And I just think we have the best community in all of fandom. And I say that wholeheartedly because no group of fans are like you guys. And there's no publishers like Thomas Copper Comics. Joe is amazing. Uh, Joe Massimos, the uh, owner of Buku Comics, really a uh, big supporter of us, has been for years. 
along with Jesse James, Atomic Comics, Samurai Comics, um, Drawn to Comics. There's so many great stores here in the Valley, Monster Comics. If you are coming to visit, you have so many choices to choose. There's so much great shops in the Valley area and outside of the Valley area. I did some shows in Cottonwood uh, when I was doing retail and there was a lot of really great little shops uh, out in the northern states, so it's great. Miguel, it was great to hang out with you and the boys. I can't believe how tall the boys have gotten. Everyone who had kids from the last Sworn Fest, uh, or should say Fiend Fest, almost three years ago, they brought the kids, and some of these kids are huge. I'm like, oh my God, please stop growing. So, <laughs> Kyle McLaughlin, it was great to see you. Thank you. Yeah, it is unfortunate, but you know, um, luckily we have good partners that are there for uh, to support us and make our books what we expect. So, um, definitely looking forward to the new run getting done. So, keep your eyes peeled. Check your emails for any updates on the omnibuses. So, with that, I would like to start off with some of the offerings I have for you today on the catacombs. Uh, most of the stuff is onesie warehouse bound. Justice for Jeff. Damn, I wish I could lock that door so Brandy can't run in and attack me. Let's start things off right. Let's go with Lady Death Revelations Nightcrawler Edition. This is a graded copy, 0 0.5. This is not an actual graded comic. It's a nice homage parody of a graded book. Um, we have done uh, different versions of these. Um, there's a 10 version. I've seen... Um, the point fives, we've done versions that have uh, 69 points, uh, 666 points, so we definitely like to roll with it. I think my favorite one is the 13s. So everybody, this is available now. Marat Michaels is the artist. Let me set this right here so we don't get such a big glare like usual on here. Next up, it's the last copy. Again, Dakota found some amazing things for y'all. This is how witch Hellborn Hollow Foil Edition. And some of these books, uh, if you've done an earlier tour from three years ago, uh, were on display in the wall. So these are the wall books. Most of these are the wall books that were on display here at HQ for the last uh, few years. Uh, I know a lot of people were freaking out on some of them. And this is one of them. This is Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss Scarlet Edition. Frank Cho, one of my favorite artists who did one of my favorite uh, comic strips, which was, um, oh, why am I having a brain fart on it? It started off as University 2 when he was in college, and then it progressed into uh, another uh, tale where you have talking animals, and I absolutely love it. I can't remember the name, because I'm old. So right here, Frank Cho doing a beautiful Lady Death cover. It's available right now on Cat Post. And my voice is squeaky. I feel like I'm going through puberty again. <laughs> oh, dignity for Dakota, yes. Oh, seduction. Yeah, Jay. All right, all right. Next up, this is uh, another early Mega Foil Edition. This is Lady Death Unholy Ruin Mega Foil Edition. Beautiful cover. Very popular image. Let me bring it up so I don't get so much glare. But this is available right now in Catacombs. I only have one of most of these. So don't delay. Get them today. These are all onesies except for the last two things I'll be showing you today. Now this one is really cool. I've always liked this image. And again, it's another Marat Michaels classic. This is Lady Death Killers. Amazing. Hollow Foil Edition. It's a really great cover. It has a beautiful homage of um, Batman uh, Detective 27. I believe it's the first Batman appearance. But actually, no, this is Spider-Man. I'm thinking of the other homage edition Marat did. But yeah, right here. Beautiful cover. Beautiful cover. Have one available today. Yeah, and these were all great finds from Dakota. And she was presenting them here today on the show. Like, I always love this cover. This is Lady Death Secrets Bride Returns Edition. Awesome cover. Beautiful cover. Look at that. Mirhoff 
Matt Mirhoff just doing the Bride of Frankenstein homaging with Lady Death. I think this is a really beautiful image, and I think it would look great as a t-shirt. So, bam. There you go. I got one available today, everybody. All right, and here's one of our early offerings from the direct market. And this is also, I believe, the last copy. This is Lady Death Revelations Premium Hollow uh, Premium Foil Edition. It's got so many hollow foils, I forgot I was at premium foils. <laughs> now, some people may ask, well, what's the difference between a hollow foil and a premium foil? On the premium foils, those are what we offer on the direct market, and we tend to just do the foil on text, some of the costuming and backgrounds. And then a hollow foil is like what I showed you before, where it's a complete hollow foil cover for all those that are wondering the difference. All right, next up, another direct market. And the last of the last, this is Lady Death Zodiac Premium Foil Edition. Here's another one. Very beautiful image. Very stunning. Again, another early direct market edition from Coffin Comics. That right next to that beauty right there. Man, look at that rat. This is just some beautiful art and beautiful additions this week. Um, so everybody, um, thank you very much for your patience for us coming back. We have a lot to do for Swarm Fest, hence why we didn't do the uh, shows last week. And Monday, I was recuperating along with everybody else, especially those I'm sure that attended. Um, so yeah, I, it's really great to be back, and I'm glad I have these lovely offerings for you guys today, and I got even more, like Lady Death Moments. This is Daughter Satanus Hollow Foil Edition. Another beautiful homage. This is the Hollow Foil. Zoom in, look at that beautiful art. God. Stephen Butler, Dan Feldmeyer. It's great to meet Dan Feldmeyer. Really great. All right, next up, I have a publisher file for here for all you Yo-Yo fans. How about Hell Witch Gallery Yo-Yo Hive Queen Edition? There was 22 copies made of this. This is a publisher file, and to my recollecting, and after Sornfest, my recollecting probably isn't very good, but this is probably the last time I will be offering this. I do not believe I have, I have any more. Excuse me for the hiccup and burp. <laughs> so, got it all gussied up for you. It is available now. There is the COA. And I'm sorry for the hiccups and burps. <laughs> all right. This is another one that was hanging here at HQ for quite a few years. This is Lady Death Pinups. Lady Death Rider Edition. Another great homage. Beautiful homage. Available right now. This is my last copy. Next up, let's get some scratch and dent in your hands. How about Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty Premium Edition? I have six available right now. Six scratch and dent copies of Chapter 13 of Lady Death's Adventures in the Coffin Verse. Tilt that down a bit. Getting a little too much here. There it goes. Okay, that's better. Thank you. You're welcome, Jimmy. <laughs> At least you can say excuse you. <laughs> I love working with Jimmy Calabrese. All right, next up, another stretch of dents for you. These are Lady Death, Bless the Anthem, number two, premium foil edition. I have two of these available right now. I just like how this pops. I wish I had better lighting right now so you could see all this, but this bad girl is stunning. Um, you have beautiful hollow foil in the background um, along her um, breastplate and her choker and her gauntlets and her legging. Beautiful foil, very beautiful addition. I have two available for you guys and gals today. All right, and last but definitely not least, I have 21 copies of Lady Death, or excuse me, Hell Witch Sacrilegious Black and White Editions. I got about 21 copies available for you now. And that's everything I have here in the catacombs. Let me see if anybody has any quotes or anything to say. Um, also, guys, like Jimmy just posted, we are going to do a live reveal today of Lady Death Necrotic Genesis. 
Get ready. I believe usually, Jimmy, we go live around 4 p.m. Arizona time, which will be 3 p.m. on the Pacific Coast, 6 p.m. on the East Coast. Let me know if I am correct in that um, timeline there for you, uh, Jimmy. But yeah, we are going to have Brian here to reveal some of the most amazing additions we have for Lady Death Necrotic Genesis Kickstarter, which will be launching really soon. I can't believe it. It's like six, eight days. Yep, 4 p.m. AZ. So all you folks in Cali and the West Coast, check us out at 3 p.m. Also, everyone on the East Coast and in between, please check us out. 6 p.m. So check it. You're not going to want to be stuck at work till 5 p.m. You know, Alyssa, I know you uh, really worked hard at Swarm Fest. You had a good time. But I also noticed you were losing some color in your face. And as your doctor here at Coffin Comics, I think you should leave early so you can attend and watch those amazing reveals we're going to be doing today. Just what? Four hours from now, three and a half hours. So, uh, yeah, Alyssa Holtz, I think you need to go home as your doctor. I think you need to go home early and get some rest. Just for today. Tomorrow you can go back to your schedule. I, I say that as your uh, doctor. If you want, I will sign a doctor's note. <laughs> you better make sure it's a good letterhead. Because <laughs> I can write like a doctor. Just what the hell is that? Anyways, everybody, let's see how much time do I have. All right, I want to go get some grub. It's been great hanging out with you guys. Um, again, thank you, everyone, who made uh, Swarm Fest a huge success. Thank you, everybody, even though you couldn't attend, you were there. We all carried your spirits with us in the celebration that was Swarm Fest. It took us almost pretty much three years to get there. Next time, it's going to be even less, so I look forward to seeing you guys. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I will see you Monday on our YouTube channel, Coffin TV. I'm sworn to you, and that's no lie. I'll talk to you guys later. Have an amazing weekend, and have a better rest of your week. I'm out. Oh, man, I sound like I hit puberty.